Thanks for that. Triple M. How much energy does this give you going into the offseason when he says that we're going to be up-tempo, pro-style offense? It excites me. You know, any, anything that can uh, uh, help this team win, you know, we're all for it. And uh, I think our team is going to really be on board with uh, Chris Moschamp and what he's trying to do. One more what? question. He gets to grade you guys when you get on the football field. Grade his debut. I think he's great. Uh, you know, I've already on text message about uh, he seems like he's going to be a great coach and great fit for you. Good luck. Thank you. John, what were the first things he said regarding the offense? Uh, I mean, he pretty much what he said in his press conference is what he addressed the team with. Uh, you know, he's going to have the pro style up tempo offense, and uh, you know, uh, he's going to do a great job coming in here and, like you said, evaluating our roster and seeing uh, seeing what our players do best and molding our offense around that. Do the words pro style fire you up compared to the word spread? Uh, I mean, I was, yeah, I mean, I, I've been I've been in the spread for a while now, so I'm comfortable with it. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, it's going to be I think it's going to be a good change around here to switch things up. Is this a rebirth for you in terms of staying in Florida? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, we're gonna, he's going to do a great job here, and uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. Johnny, do you think the uh, practices for the bowl now will be almost an audition for the new coach? Because they'll be out there watching and seeing what he's got. In a way. Uh, but you know what? I think our, our team's really strong mentally to know that, hey, we we got to go out there. Let's win it for Coach Meyer and uh, and the great coaches we got here so far and win for these seniors. So I think that's what we're going to do. What's this last week been like, losing a coach, getting a coach in such a short time? Um, you know, it's it's been tough. You know, I mean, it's always tough to see such a great coach uh, with Coach Meyer go, you know, in this situation. But, uh, you know, uh, we're all excited about the new the new uh, new coach. And, uh, you know, we got still got one more game under Coach Meyer. We're going to do the best we can for him and send him out the right way. Do you get a did, sense that the guys really care about this bowl game, that despite 7-5, and five, that the Outback Bowl is a big deal? Absolutely. I mean, it, we, we strive to go for January 1st bowls and, and on. But, uh, you know, uh, the season didn't work out the way we did. But, hey, we're going to – we love to play football. That's what we love to do. So that's what we're going to go out on January 1st and uh, just play the sport we love and uh, give it all we got. John, your dad said that you and he were going to sit down with Coach Meyer after the season and kind of talk about where the program was heading anyway. Is, do you feel like that conversation will happen with Coach Muschamp, or does that kind of change you know, the way you – It could. Him? It could. I mean, this definitely has changed a lot, you know, uh, but, you know, we're still going to have some conversation, and, uh, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure things out. Do you ever play for anybody like this? I mean, you played for Kerwin. You played for – you know, I mean, this guy's big, high energy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean – I mean, Coach Meyer is big, high energy, and a lot of these coaches are. And uh, I think any really coach here in the in the college level has to be intense. You know, you got to get these fi guys fired up every day. And uh, you know, I think it's going to be good to get a get a guy in here who is intense, and uh, it's going to keep us fired up and keep us working hard. Did he do that in the team meeting? I mean, he seemed to fire people up here in the press conference. Absolutely. I mean, uh, he addressed us with a lot of confidence, a lot of intensity. And uh, I mean, I remember walking out and hearing a bunch of the guys saying, hey, we're, we're real excited about this. You know who your new head coach is going to be, but you don't know who your new offensive coordinator is going to be, your new quarterback's coach. Are those things that you're sort of curious, worried about, I mean, interested in as far as you making? Oh, absolutely. But you know, uh, you know, like he addresses in team, you got to have kind of blind trust. and. Uh, you know, I think he has a great background. I think he's going to hire. I mean, he's not going to hire someone he knows is going to lose. So I know he's going to hire someone who, who wants to win and he believes is going to win. And uh, uh, I think it's, I think he's going to hire someone very, very, uh, very experienced and very good.